All right, let's talk about the fourth and final step in our recipe for getting precipitation. This is importation of water vapor. Why is this an issue? Well, let's consider typical air in our atmosphere. It has a typical vapor content or absolute humidity ranging between about 0.1 to one gram per cubic meter. That is if we were to just take the molecules of water in a cubic meter, this is how much it would weigh. Consider, for example, a cloud that's about 10 kilometers tall or 10 thousand meters and let's let's go on the the generous end let's say that there was one gram of liquid water equivalent or of water molecules per cubic meter in here and let's consider a column of this that's one meter on a side and just think about how much water could there possibly be in this column of air? And the answer is that it's not enough to actually sustain heavy precipitation. And let's do some calculations to see why that is. Precipitation. So we know, for example, that one gram of water is equal to one cubic centimeter of liquid equivalent. One tiny little cubic centimeter. So if we were to multiply this <clears throat> or divide this into uh, think about one cubic centimeter times 10,000 meters, we would get 10,000 cubic centimeters of water per meter squared. And just remember that one liter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters. And so this is about 10 liters of water spread over a square meter. And 10 liters of water spread over a square meter is only equal to one centimeter of thickness of water. One liter spread over 10 over a square meter is equal to one millimeter of liquid water. 10 liters is a centimeter. And so if you were to rain out somehow the water vapor in this entire giant cloud column, You'd only get a storm of about one centimeter. And yet we know that in many places it rains in a day much more than that. So in order to get sustained rain out of this cloud, we need to import water vapor from somewhere else. So it needs to ha have some sort of feeding process whereby water vapor from outside of this particular area is imported and is then precipitated out of the cloud in order to actually get very large storm amounts.